Okay, we're in lovely Kenilworth, Illinois. To see if uh, Kenilworth respects our First Amendment right to record in public. It's open. Oh, it's open. Yeah, someone forgot their key. We don't, we don't hand mail over the counter, sir. What's that? What are you doing? I'm sorry, I don't answer questions. Okay. I don't answer questions. Okay. Comfort police? <laughs> I could go back in there. But sure. you're not, are you going to arrest me? No. Good. Today we're in lovely Kenilworth, Illinois, to see if uh, Kenilworth respects our First Amendment right to record in public. We have a flower shop and skincare and spa. There's an empty, empty uh, location here. Bad for waste. We have a barber shop, some kind of a workout place. Coach Tom, astrology, more sure. Astrology. It's a little windy today, it's about 40 degrees. Hopefully, the microphone isn't crackling. Inspire, I'm not sure what that is. But this is, uh, I don't know if it's downtown. I'm not sure if it's downtown Perth or if it's just uh, near the train station. I'm not sure what they call it here. This is how it looks. Inspire Counseling Center. Melden Interiors. Some uh, interior setup. So Kenilworth is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Illinois. Jen Marie Interiors. Here's uh, there's a lot of interior. M&M interior design. So all these places are like interior designs. Oh look at post office. I don't know if it's open. I think it, it's a salt. It's like a fitness center. Great Commons Coast restaurant. Here's the train. We got uh, eyeglasses here. Try to see through the. Uh, so we got a for rent dental office right here. Get your teeth done. And we got some kind of uh, architects. Plans here. Well, for sale. And I'm not sure what this is. Kenilworth is not too big. <laughs> Bad. We got a Rivian SUV. It's pretty cool. Electric car. It is cold and windy today. All right, let's check out the post office here. Opens at 9 a.m. Let's see if it's open. Oh, it's open. Let's see if we can find uh, poster 7. Look at these. It's historical right there. What are the letters for? Hi, can I help you? No, just recording. Got uh, rules right there. Looks like someone forgot their key. Someone forgot their key. Someone forgot their key uh, in one of the mailboxes. We don't hand mail over the counter, sir. I said someone forgot their key in the mailbox. I'm sorry. Someone forgot their key in the mailbox. I'll retrieve it, thank you. All right. So it looks like, I don't know what design that is. Looks like somebody forgot their uh, mailbox key right here. That's yours. Let's see what poster seven says. So, this is, it's open at nine. Put open. This is how um, the Kenilworth post office looks like. Let's check out the uh, site. They said that uh, 2024, they're gonna raise rates, postal rates. Let's see what they are right now. So it's amazing that you could get free shipping from China for something that's worth about a dollar. But in the United States, you have to pay at least, let's see, a large amount of $1.35. So these rates are supposedly, allegedly going up next year. Yeah, I don't think anybody works here. I'm not sure what happened to that lady. So we're in uh, 
I don't know if this is a village of Kenilworth, but it, it's Kenilworth, Illinois. Flip this around. It looks like they ship worldwide. Holidays are coming up, so it's going to be a, a busy season of shipping things. This place is going to be very busy. But the, uh, the mailboxes out there look amazing. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So I've got a package over here. Nice and warm. i got the uh, hours right here. Oh, what is that? No. Post office box. So if you want to rent one of these uh, boxes, this is how much it costs per month, I believe. $31 per month. And here's the uh, locate or collection plan. If they're working yet. I don't think anybody works here. So here's the price of materials in 2023. I'm not sure if that's going to go up. You got your postcards. Tracking numbers are free, but not for everything. You buy insurance. And uh, you got your standard shipping right here. So the uh, priority mail. So it looks like the, uh, the cheapest for priority would be the envelopes. Then the small box starts at $10. So this is good for if you have like heavy things and stuff. Are you taking pictures, sir? Yeah, just doing a video. Sir, I'm sorry. Can you stop videotaping to protect the privacy of my customer? Why? Because this is a private transaction, sir. Oh, I'm not over there. I, no, I can't even I, see it. I, but the videotaping in the lobby is interfering with his privacy. No, no, I'm right be behind can him. Can you please step out of the retail lobby so I can conduct this transaction in private, sir? Sure. Hold on. What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Am I being detained? No. Just ask what you're saying. Are you doing this for a project? I'm sorry, I don't answer questions. Okay. Someone's key is still in here. Sir, someone forgot their keys right there. So that's the uh, Kenilworth police. They're asking you to leave. They don't want you here anymore. So, oh. It says I can record here. What's that? It says I can record here. And okay, that, so. it, do, it doesn't. It's not that you're recording so they don't feel safe and comfortable anymore, so they want you to leave. Oh, are you the comfort police? <laughs> okay. They're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, then I'll have to uh, charge you with trespassing. Oh, this is uh, public or private? She has the right authority to, to tell you that you're not wanted here. Okay, but well, she's I'm, I'm going to leave under the threat of arrest. Okay. I just wanted to tell her that someone left okay. their keys. Okay, appreciate your assistance. Thank All you. Right. feel comfortable me recording anything but it uh, looks like I had to leave under the threat of arrest. Got some cam back action right here. <laughs> I wonder if he's calling the uh, the police. So we're gonna wait and get his uh, name and badge number in case uh, we need to file a complaint. So this is 
car 614. So they're on their top. Let's see if I can zoom in. That's all we have right now. Family parked right there. It's cool. So we got kicked out under the threat of arrest from the Kenilworth post office because the postmaster feels uncomfortable. From the lobby, we got kicked out from the lobby where uh, normally I would be able to record. So we're definitely gonna put in a complaint. So we're gonna have to FOIA the uh, call for this one because it uh, looks like the post office, the post worker breached my piece of recording in the uh, lobby and foyers. And uh, there's no sign here that we can't come in here and record. This is the United States Post Office, right? So I was nice to, to the postmaster. I was cordial. I left when the, the police officer told me to leave. But uh, I, I kind of feel like my vi rights have been violated. What is he doing in there? He's been there for like 10 minutes already. So the officer took my picture. Uh, we're gonna FOIA that picture as well. So I, I think I would consider this a, a breach of peace. Because uh, I didn't violate any rights. They violate my First Amendment rights to record. It says that uh, heroes work here. Thank you and be safe. I don't think there's uh, heroes that work here. So it looks like the police officer is still in there. And uh, I forgot to ask his uh, badge number, name and badge number. So we're going to wait until he comes out. How's he doing in there? There he is. Does he work there now? I think he's working over there. Oh, no. For some reason, my camera does not want to zoom more than more than it is. I don't know if you can see him, the police officer. Is he standing in there? Oh, he's right there. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's working at the post office today. I think maybe that's why it says heroes work there, because uh, the cops working at the post office today. Um, oh, there he is. Name and badge number, sir? 605. Name? McGarry. Sorry, okay. Dad. Can I do a citizen's arrest for breaching the peace? No. For calling the police on me? No. No. For, uh, she has a right to call the police. For Have the nice First day. Amendment protected activity inside? Why did you violate my right? Why'd you tell me to get out of the post office for something that's protected? She didn't feel safe. She so you're a comfort police now? No, I'm not the comfort police. Okay. Did you comfort her? Yes, I did. Okay, so can I go back in there? Yeah, sure. I could go back in there. But sure. you're not, are you going to arrest me? No. Good. So um, why'd you violate my rights in the first place? She felt threatened in that moment, so I asked you to step outside. Okay, well, can I have a uh, citizen's arrest for breach no. and peace? No, you can't. Why not? Because she felt threatened. That's why I asked you. I didn't threaten that. anybody. That's how Everything's she felt. On video. I, had to, I had to talk to her and find out what was going on. I told her that someone left their keys, and she felt threatened. Probably because you're videotaping her. She felt that that was unusual. But they're videotaping, too. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they are. You're they're videotaping, not. right? No. You don't have a body cam? Nope. That's odd. All right, so you violated right. my rights because of her comfort. Okay, have a good day. All right, well, I'm going to put in a complaint about you. Okay. That you didn't do a citizen's arrest for breach of peace. Okay. So we are back at the post office looking at these uh, old relics here. And again, let's take a look at poster seven right there. All right, I guess we're going to have to go to the uh, police station and put a complaint about that officer for breach of peace. So that's Kenilworth for you, the little Kenilworth post office. They will trample on your rights whenever they get a chance, right away, actually. <laughs> and uh, the officer will come in comfort, tell me to leave under threat of arrest because I am recording. I showed him the poster seven right here. She did breach my peace by calling the police. I've asked to get her arrested for breach of peace. He did not comply, and uh, so we're gonna do a complaint and this post, postal service. All right. Just because it's a rich neighborhood doesn't mean you could trample on someone else's rights. All right, so we're gonna stop recording here. Yeah, I wanna do a complaint about a police officer. Sure, there's a four by Oh, you guys have it ready for me, huh? <laughs>